Well, greetings. How's everybody doing? Uh, one of the projects that I've been working on for a customer. This 2425H, the gentleman bought uh, from Jam in Jersey, out in L.A., Northridge. And I actually went out and picked him up for him because he's in, I think he's in Georgia. Uh, but he was referred to me through the Lansing Heritage uh, Forum by actually one of my friends in Australia who's a, a noted member there and said, uh, Canada Up and Loudspeaker Service can aquaplaws your titanium diaphragms in your JBL 2425H. Since JBL doesn't sell an aquaplaws coated diaphragm, um, I can do it. Now, why would you do that? Well, this diaphragm is actually blown, but this is a plain uh, D8R, it's green, so it's an 8-ohm, D8R 2425 titanium diaphragm. What happens with this uh, uncoated titanium diaphragm, first of all, it's very tough. It's very robust, particularly for live sound. The titanium has a very high tensile strength and uh, rarely will shatter if it makes contact with the phase plug and you can see actually this one this one actually got some moisture in it uh, you can see the imprint of the phase plug a little bit but you can see by the rippling of the titanium that this thing took a beating before it quit now Titanium is actually heavier than aluminum, so the titanium diaphragms are two thousandths of an inch thick, or two mils, versus the aluminum diaphragms, which are three mils thick, three thousandths of an inch. Aluminum is softer, so it has better internal damping and not so much resonance. So this one, I've done it already, and you can see this is this driver's from 1987, pretty, pretty good shape. I think it came out of some... Uh, I want to say a 4430 studio monitor. Uh, but here, I cleaned it up, put a new foam pad in it. But there's the uh, coated diaphragm. Now, what does that Aquaplaz coating do? At about 14 to 16,000 hertz, pre predominantly 15, 16,000 hertz, a secondary harmonic resonance is really audible about eight about 8k about 8,000 Hertz and uh, you sweep these with a naked uncoated diaphragm and man that that second harmonic is really audible and it's kind of annoying and that's one of the things that makes this diaphragm harsh sounding so the aquaplaws there's only about a half a gram or so of material on here and it made that resonance disappear and that's why JBL has the 2450 SL the four inch diaphragm and I think they had one I'm not really sure in the consumer version it might have been a 275 ND uh, that one might have been coated uh, but don't quote me on that I think that is right I've never had any in my hands uh, I never had uh, I never had to get any diaphragms in the, from the consumer division, so I couldn't get them through the pro division because it wasn't available. Two different divisions at the time. So anyway, that's uh, what I've done here. So if you're interested in having your uh, titanium diaphragms coated, it's not cheap. It's 85 bucks because uh, it takes about an hour to do it. And uh, but it is <coughs> excuse me, it's a significant improvement over the uh, the uncoated diaphragm because those resonances are tamed quite a bit. That's one of the reasons why JBL did the 035 TI diaphragm, coated it with block aquaplaws in, I think it was the LSR studio monitors, the 031 TIS, I think is the right part number. Uh, I'm going by memory. It's been a while since I've done one, but I think that's, that's correct. So one of the things that Greg Timbers came to the conclusion was that if it's metal, coat it to uh, tame those resonances. So there it is. And I got a pair did a pair of them and they're ready to go uh, back to their uh, back to their owner. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll talk soon.